mouse bones and red skeletons. I left the room and scurried down the hall. Soon I came to a wooden door with a sign on it. I read kitchen. I went in. I, the place was huge. You could cook dinner for a hundred <coughs> mouse mice in this place. There was a huge wood burning stove, pots and pans of every size and shape, and a massive fridge. I opened a side door and found myself in a cellar. I spotted some cans of tuna, fish, some dried meat, and a So the castle was inhabited about all. But by whom? That was still a mystery. I crept back to the wood, wood burning stove. I, uh, a huge copper pot hung inside the fireplace. It had a picture of a snarling cat engraved on it. I looked closer and noted a strange white object lying inside the It was bone, a mouse bone. I flung the bone back into the pot then I looked around terrified. What was this place? I decided I didn't want to stick around to find out. I had to make a run for it before I ended up like that poor mouse in the pot. No fur, just bone. <coughs> in a panic, I flung open the first door I saw. Behind it was a closet. I wish I could say I found a puffy chap's hat and matching apron in that closet. My uncle Harper wears this silly apron at our annual family barbecues. It has a picture of a smiling mouse juggling kittens on it. But there was no opera in this closet. Instead, there was the skeleton of a humongous rat. Oh, how 